Hello and welcome. I would pause this video and give the problem a shot on your own and then press play when you're ready to talk to me about it. All right, so first of all, let's read the problem. It says, given the graph of the line represented by the equation f of x, right? Remember, this means a function, we're calling it f, and it's not f times x, it means a function that we're calling f, and a function is a relationship where every input has um, one output, essentially a relationship, and, or an equation, so a function, which is in the most general, non-descriptive sense, another word for equation. And in the equation, f is based on the inputs x, right? So x is our input. Now I know this might seem, if you haven't seen this notation before, like a little bit cumbersome, a little bit ridiculous, but it's actually quite useful. Imagine, and it tells us the name of the function, and it tells us what the function is based upon just by writing a couple of symbols. And this equals negative 2x plus b. So if b is increased by 4 units, the graph of the new line would be shifted 4 units which way? All right, so to understand this, uh, first of all, you might recognize that this is a linear equation. I know that because um, x is here, and it's only raised to the first power, which means it's going to be linear. So our x here is to the first power. It's linear. And I also noticed that it's in what's called mx plus b format, right? You might have seen y equals mx plus b format. y is synonymous with f of x because it's your output. So you can think of that as f of x. m is the slope. So our slope here is negative 2. And x are the inputs that we plug into our equation. And b is the y-intercept. It's the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. So one way to think about this is that if you raise this y-intercept by 4, that uh, the line would shift up 4 units, choice 2.